This is the Core i9-14900KS, and I am Robitech. And together with the help from our friends at Intel and Newegg, we're about to build one amazing custom PC, all themed around the latest entry in the Yakuza series, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. If you aren't familiar with it, you should check it out right here. Now, beyond paying tribute to an awesome game, we're here to celebrate something Intel has been cooking up for quite some time now, Intel Rig Rush. Rig Rush is a new PC building blitz series by Intel where four competitors face off in 24 hours of PC building madness. Competitors will face challenges like speed rounds, builds focused on optimizations and specific themes, kind of like what we're doing today, and much, much more. Think of Rig Rush like one of those intense cooking competitions, but instead of having 30 minutes to figure out what to do with like alfalfa, blue cheese, and shrimp paste, it's PC building challenges, which will involve much more thermal paste than shrimp paste. Make sure you're following Intel Gaming on your favorite social media platform, because I heard a rumor that a trailer for Rig Rush will be dropping very, very soon. All right, we have an incredible custom PC to build here, and I'm gonna walk you through all the parts and why we chose the components as we built. But if you're getting impatient and you wanna know the parts we're using in the build, or maybe you wanna take advantage of some amazing deals on Intel gear that are running through May 13th, head on over to newegg.com slash Intel Rig Rush. This is a great time to pick up upgrades and new gear if you've been eyeing new PC parts. But for us, let's get on with the build. Okay, so we're gonna kick this off by installing our Intel Core i9-14900KS, and we're gonna be using the MSI MPG Z790 uh, TI Max Wi-Fi motherboard. It is a Z790, very, very easy to get started with and use um, when you're starting with your OS and getting everything installed. And the other thing too is because it's a KS, it's therefore unlocked and we wanna make sure we have any potential to do overclocking, undervolting, et cetera, which are all things we love to do on KS or K SKUs from Intel. I love that new motherboard open look. It looks so good. One of my favorite parts, guys, the peels. Oh, that sounded so good. ASMR, baby. Next up, time to open the bad boy. Did you get good shots of that? Okay, now we're gonna do something a little bit different. Now we're gonna install our contact frame. I'm just gonna pop that right over our CPU like so. Then we're gonna take the same screws, pop those in. Ready for some thermal paste, some thermal paste action, Brian? past. Now we're going to use our Noctua NTH1, which is good thermal paste, making sure that we get good transference from the IHS to the cooling plate on our Fantex D30. There you go. And don't be afraid. You can be okay with putting a liberal amount of thermal paste. You just want to make sure that entire IHS is covered. Now it's time to prep our Lee and Lee O11 Evo RGB that we have designed for Yakuza Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. So we're gonna get the case stripped and then get ready to put all of the stuff inside of it finally. Now we're just gonna secure the motherboard down with the included screws for the O11 Dynamic Evo RGB. Now we are using the new Fantex D30 fans. These are daisy chainable. The other reason I love them is they have a ton of airflow. These things are like Lego pieces. Literally like Lego. We're gonna be doing but nothing but Lego for the next two hours. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now we'll grab our bottom one here. That's it. For cooling, we're gonna be using the Fantex Glacier One D30 420 millimeter AIO, which fits inside of the O11 Evo RGB. We're gonna make sure that we have the absolute best cooling for that 14900KS, so not only do we keep it at good temperatures for gaming and anything else that we do for it. But potentially, if you do some undervolting, et cetera, you might even have some room for overclocking as well. But let's get this going. You just attach the bracket to another bracket, like what we've just done. And then now you have everything in place for your 20 millimeter AIO. Make sure that you tighten this all the way down. You wanna make sure there's no more, because this is like the contact with the CPU and then we're just gonna take this and wrap it underneath and hook it up. Okay, so for GPU, you have to have something that matches. So you went with the white Trinity Overclock from Zotac Gaming, which looks absolutely awesome. It's a 4080 Super, which is gonna pair very well with the 14900KS and it's gonna look absolutely awesome inside of this case. So let's get it in. 
Actually, it looks really good in there. And then finally, guys, for power supply, we're using the ROG Strix 1000 Watt Aura Edition PSU. This PSU has these amazing cables, which makes it really easy in dual chamber cases like this or in regular standard builds to be able to do your cable management. You guys are gonna see that when it's all said and done here in just a few seconds. And there we go. Now we just put the glass back on. Last screw of the build. And do we have power? We will know in three, two, one. Dude. Well, that is our Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth build. No shrimp paste needed here. One of you could win this PC, but I am contractually obligated to tell you that this PC will not be a source of infinite wealth. Sorry, guys, I couldn't quite fit it into the budget. It will, however, run games like Infinite Wealth with as much swagger as some of the main characters in the game have. Now, if you want a chance to win this PC, make sure you hop on over to newegg.com slash Intel Rig Rush to find out how you can win. This giveaway will not last forever, so as soon as you're done with this video, make sure you get on over there and enter. If you'd much rather build your own custom PC, which I am totally down with, you aren't gonna wanna miss out on the sales that are currently running in celebration of Rig Rush all the way through May 13th. Even if you're looking to buff up your existing build, make sure you see what Newegg is offering because you might just find the upgrade you've been looking for. Now, if you wanna learn more about Intel Rig Rush, make sure you follow Intel Gaming on your favorite social media platform, join Discord, and make sure you subscribe to the Intel Gaming channel and ring that notification bell so that you'll be notified when Intel Rig Rush goes live. Again, my name is Roby Tech, and on half of Intel and Newegg, thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.